Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Imprick and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a mini slash data using Sony Vegas software. Um, and this is just how I personally do it, not the best way or anything like that. You may not like it, you may like it, I don't know, you can just watch this tutorial if it's helpful for you then that's great. Um, yeah, I just thought this would be quite a good tutorial to make since every, well, 90% of the community is going for phase 5 and, you know, putting out data charges or whatever. So I just thought this would be quite helpful and uh, a lot of people actually don't know how to use, uh, like, Sony Vegas, After Effects, even just to make simple stuff like this. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of show you how to show you how to do that. Um, so what you want to do is obviously open up your Sony Vegas software, because I'm guessing you'll kind of need that for this tutorial. Um, bring in your clip. I'm just going to use two clips because, uh, yeah, I made this tutorial um, pretty much just before and it was 16 minutes and I'd only done one clip. So I was like, all right, screw that, restart, whatever. Yeah, this is my first ever tutorial, so I'm just kind of getting used to speaking to my laptop because it feels a little bit weird. It feels like I'm just talking to myself, which I pretty much am. Um, Alright, so then, just quad feet answer. Alright, don't know, just dragged in these clips, don't really know what's going on with them. Um, and I'm going to need to get a new clip because that one had no audio. Quad feet grind, alright, we're sweet. Not the best clips, just some leftovers I had. Okie dokie, now what we want to do is first of all right click and then go to properties, disable resample and untick maintain aspect loss ratio aspect log ratio, sorry my bad. Alright, we want to do that for both clips. That will just stop ghosting or warping on your clips, which makes it look quite bad. So you just want to do that. Also, you want to come down here, right click on the audio, not the video this time. Method classic lock to stretch. That'll stop it from distorting the audio. Like if I drag that out, um, the gun sounds. The gun sounds are, uh, I don't know if you can really hear that, but the gun sounds are distorted. So what you want to do is prop these classic lock to stretch and then that'll just uh, smoothen out the audio if you slow mo the clip. Okay, started off because I really don't want this to be over 20 minutes, so I'm just going to get straight into it. What I like to do at the start of my edits is I just drag in uh, my black bars, which I'll put a download link in the description, um, unless I forget, then obviously I won't, but remind me and I will. Um, and also you want a song, so you can just chuck in any song you want. Um, I'm just going to chuck in uh, Lana Del Rey. Oh, no, that's going to be copyrighted, so I'm not going to chuck that in. Coven, more than you. Alright, there we go. So get your song. And what you want to do for your song, if you import just an MP3, that's fine. You're just going to have that bar. But I, this is a video because I download videos to keep better quality. So um, what you want to do is just press U on your keyboard and that just uh, splits like the two, well, splits the one layer into two different layers and then just press, oh, not that, delete on the video and there we go, sorted. Alright, then just make a new track if you haven't got one. Oh, still got the stuff from the last tutorial, my bad. Okay. Um, Alright, what you want to do is just create a new audio layer, and I've already got one, but what you can do is just right click, um, insert audio track, and that'll, that'll sort it out for you. Okay, so I've got my audio here, don't know what that is, just delete it. <coughs> um, okie dokie. So yeah, that's my song. Uh, basically what you want to do here is, what I do at the start of my edits is I just fade in the audio. That just builds it up kind of so it doesn't just come straight at you, which is, I think, sounds a lot cleaner. And then I've got these black bars, so you just want to import those onto a video layer. Um, just bring the clip out a little bit, like bring, your, bring the start of your black bars over a clip so that you can see what they look like. Then you can just click on this event pan crop button, uh, drag them in to make them smaller, I want them about like that, then just drag it back to the start. <clears throat> and just extend it, but my video is going to be pretty short anyway. Okay, so now we've got my black bars, we've got my music in, and now we're going to start on these clips. So uh, what I like to do now with my um, 
with my mini targers is I just like to slow-mo the clip. I used to sync every shot to a beat and it ended up taking too long and it was just kind of a waste of time because I only got like 40 views on the video. So I now just like to um, slow-mo my clip throughout the whole thing and I think it sounds right as well. So basically what you want to do is con just click control on your keyboard and drag it out. Um, if you haven't split the layers, like press U, then they'll be the same. So if you drag one, the other one will follow. But like over here, if I split the layers, if I drag one, the other one won't move. So you just have to drag that one out as well. Just control Z to reverse that. All right. So now we've got a slow mode clip here. So what I like to do is just fade in my clip at the start because I think it looks quite nice. Fade in the audio. So I've got all that fading in. So let's just see how that looks right now. Oops, I was still just chilling. <clears throat> okay, sweet. Now what you just want to do is come up here insert a new video track by right clicking on a previous video track and then insert some uh, you go into your plugins uh, for text this is where mine is if you just started with Vegas I'll probably be down one of these little tabs here um, and yeah anyway I'm just bringing in my soft shadow text and then you just change it to what you want so I'm just going to say Daytage and just select that, just I'll check on one of my favourite from my favourite font, sorry. Put that on. Um, I want my text to be white, yep, and effects. I want it to be uh, that should look about alright, can't see it at the moment. Alright, that's alright, that's looking a little clean at the moment. Okay, so what I want to do is just put my text about started about there. And uh, I just want to make a keyframe, so it means it's going to change from one keyframe to another. So my first keyframe, uh, oh yeah, and to do this you just you know click on event uh, pan crop button and you'll be in here. Click on this top uh, tab thing here, whatever you want to call that. And I just want to drag this out so my text starts small, go to the end of the text um, clip thing and drag it in to about there so basically from the first keyframe it's going to be small to the last one it's going to be big and then I just like to add in a different effect so just come over here to your video effects panel wave large wave just drag that on and as you can see over here it just puts a little bit of a wave effect on your video and I'm just going to animate which means keyframe it pretty much um, for, for my first point I want it to you can just copy down these settings if you want just pause it whatever that's what I want it to look like and then you go to the end of your video um, I'll go one one frame for backwards so you can actually see it I want to make it almost normal so that it's pretty much like doing a wave um, well I'm going to make this shorter so just drag it down and then should still be the same ok now I'm just going to add a fade in so just up at the top left corner fade that in top right corner fade it out so now it's going to kind of fade in with the video I'm going to have to fade it in a bit more. It's going to fade in with the video. Okay, yeah, that looks a little bit choppy, but you know, you can just experiment with that. That's what I like to do at the start of my day sizes. Okay, sweet. What are we doing for time? Nine minutes. Alright, I better wrap this up soon. Okay, so what you just want to do is uh, drag your clip control drag it out a little bit to slow mold as much as you want I like it about here so um I think this looks about right data slow mo yeah 
I think it looks quite good personally. Okay, and then you're going to come to the end, your clip's going to end, and it's just going to go the black. And, oh no, what do I do? Alright, you just want to drag your second clip up here. Oh, yeah, see, mine's two different separate layers, so I'll just drag them separately. Okay, there we go. Um, I like to actually overlay it so it's like a fade. So it's going to go. Yeah, as you can see, there it fades through. So I like that better on Daytages. So I'm just going to do that. And then, oh, well, I'm actually going to drag this in because the clip doesn't start for a bit about there. Um, drag it in. Drag that in. Can, oh, what am I doing? Alright, I control Z so that just slow mode it. Alright, there we go, sorted. Okay, now I'm just going to overlay that a little bit just for a fade. And then we're going to go on to the next clip. And that has no slow mo, so you just control drag out your one clip. But you know, mine's split, so I'm gonna have to do it on both. And then, um, I just think this looks pretty good when you just a little fade and then slow mo. Oh, I actually missed half of my clip, I already got to collapse. So that's just basically back to back collapse. Alright, there we go, so that's um pretty much how I do it and also I like to not well so I guess it's kind of a CC not really but just for my data I just I like to go onto video effects panel and go to levels and then go scroll down studio RGB to computer RGB and if you drag this onto one clip it'll just apply to the one clip so it's applied on that clip not on that one so just delete that um, what you want to do is apply it to the whole track and it just like darkens it up a little bit I think it looks better and oh yeah also one thing I better tell you if you have like a nice like 5 on screen or something at the end what you can do is just split your clip and then just slow mode even more so it's gonna like come in and then go into real slow mode so you can see the five on screen or whatever. But you know that's just a random quad so that's not, not even worth the slow mo. Okay, so now you've got that. Um I also like to add some contrast, so brightness and contrast, default, um contrast just a little bit. And I think that looks quite nice, just for a little daytime. So as you can see, this is pretty much the final result, just come in. So as that clip fades, second clip, and then yeah, you can just do that for as many clips as you want, just fade it in, slow-mo. Um, and then at the end of your edit, just make sure to drag the song down to where your edit finishes and just fade it off because I think that's better than it just cutting straight out. And also at the end of my edits, I fade the last clip off. Otherwise it cuts straight out and it just, like, it just looks a bit, I don't know, choppy kind of. And your black bars can, you don't have to fade them out, but just make sure you drag them to the same size as your video. So if your video's out here, you drag them out there. Um, Alright, so I'm pretty sure that everything I wanted to talk about. Now you just have to render. So if you don't know how to render, you just want to click up, uh, up around here, highlight your uh, your whole video, uh, click File, Render As. And this is basically just going to allow you to render this to the video format. And I like to choose uh, Windows Media Video. And I have custom settings, so uh, you can just copy these down. I'll just audio I change that down to 192, otherwise, sometimes it stuffs up. Um, and it's just lagging. Alright, video. So you can just pause it, copy down those. Bam, copy that. Not really anything in there. And yeah, so if you just want to pause, copy those, you can if, if you like to. And then I just you name it, what you want, choose where to save it. 
I normally just save it into videos or whatever. Just call it J, I don't know, Jetty or Art. Well, if that's what you want to call it. And then best render settings. That's what I called my um, settings. And then just render and it uh, yeah, should, it, I guess depending on your computer, it will be fast or not. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you guys. And if you want to know anything else, just post it down in the comment section. Anything to do with video editing, I'll try my best to answer. If not, I'll look up a tutorial myself and remake one if that's what you need. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, like and comment if you think it was deserving, and you know, feedback is always welcome and appreciated. So, thank you very much. My name is Ian Infrared, and peace out.